What's going on, baseball fans? Well, Marlins second baseman D. Gordon is going to be suspended 80 games after testing positive for PEDs. Now, I've, I dabble in baseball. I watch a little bit. His name comes up a lot. Obviously, he signed like a $50 million contract or something like that. But from what I've seen, of, he, he's gained like a solid 30 pounds. He's really, really fast, stuff like that. Um, you know, a lot of these things that happen with baseball, it's happening for a reason. You got to remember, it, it takes a lot to actually get to that MLB level. And when you get there and the money comes in, you're going to do what you need to do to stay at that level. And I'm not encouraging the use of performance enhancing drugs. All I'm saying is that there's always going to be that risk of it because the money outweighs the, you know, the, the punishment. He's going to lose 80 games, but he's going to make that money back. You see what I'm saying? And, and it's, it's, it's very, very difficult because I remember the Barry Bonds uh, era. And that man was juicing harder than a guy. Listen, I don't know what the hell. This dude's head was about to explode. I don't know what was going on. He was juicing so hard. I had no idea what was happening from day to day. But it was entertaining. And I've never, Sammy Sosa, I've never watched um, so much baseball ever in my life than during that era. Um... You know, Mark McGuire, those boys, they were coming up there just banging it out the park. See, those were the exciting times for the era of baseball in which I watched it. Obviously, if you go back, you know, it's a lot of olden, uh, olden day stuff that a lot of guys tell me about um, that they used to like other players that they love. But that these are, these are something that's personal with me. I loved the steroid era, and I'm guilty of saying that. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the fact that we're trying to encourage the younger generation to not use steroids, I feel kind of... Um, you know, I, I feel like I'm contradicting myself because I enjoyed the, the quote unquote steroid era of PED use the most. You guys, you guys be honest with me as baseball fans. When, when, when Barry Bonds was chasing the record and he just went out there and consistently hit those home runs, consistently, consistently, tell me that you didn't enjoy it more. If you're a, if you're an avid baseball fan and I understand the cheating part of it and I don't know how a lot of, uh, the majority of people feel about it, but I think that they should do something to like something to regulate steroid use because it's something that can be beneficial to the views because it's just more exciting when these guys are doing wild stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like it's not like something like it, it, it depends on how people use it. You understand what I'm saying? Because me coming from a workout background and seeing a lot of people use steroids and, and dabble in it, I've dabbled in it myself with different types of enhancements and things like that for different reasons. You know, whether you're trying to get that weight up, you want that 405 on the bench, whatever. I did it for, you know, weightlifting and straight tra uh, strength training, but personal, not while I was competing in sports. But it's just something that it adds something to you when you're trying to get over like, a, you know, a certain plateau, or whatever like that. But as far as it goes with the sports, I understand it and it's illegal. It shouldn't be done. But I have to be honest with you. I enjoy the steroid era more than any other times I've ever watched baseball. And this guy right here, listen, the guy, he, 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 gained, he gained a solid muscular 30 pounds. The guy's hitting the ball crazy. They just did a sweep of some team. Like the guy was playing well. You know, it, right now you can't even say that if a guy is doing really good that he's not taking steroids. Automatically now, you start to watch everybody. You see what I'm saying? So everybody, these guys gotta be extremely careful. And regardless of what everyone thinks, there's somebody right now manufacturing a PED that eventually will not be detected because it's so much money in these sports people are going to do it the biggest thing is how do you get it who do you trust and things like that let's just be honest about it because if it's there people gonna get it and it's as simple as that but it's very disappointing to see the way he started the season you know and after signing a 50 million dollar five-year deal you know that he's gonna be ending it off you know 80 games is a lot of games and, um, you know, it's going to cost them, but eventually he'll be able to recover from it and make the money back and they'll move on from it. But he's not the first and he won't be the last. And baseball needs to figure out something because in my opinion, it makes the game more exciting. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Until next time, one love.